This is a SnapEd New York video presentation. Hello, everyone. My name is Wendy Beckman, and I'm a registered dietitian with the New York State Office for the Aging and SnapEd New York. Thanks for joining me today. As you can see, we are in our new location and not in my living room anymore. We're in this beautiful kitchen in Rensselaer County, and I'm so excited to let you know that we have some great new ideas for this show, and I hope that you like our new look. I want to thank everyone at the New York State Office for the Aging and the New York State Office of General Services for making this possible. Today, I'm going to be making an herb potato salad. We'll be putting the link to the recipe in the chat box and you can find the recipe on the SnapEd New York website at www.snapedny.org. Potatoes are harvested in New York State from July through October, but you can usually get potatoes from storage all year long. With this recipe, you can use larger potatoes and cut them up, or you can use the small baby potatoes. I am using red potatoes today and I did have to cut them into pieces. But if you don't wanna to do too much cutting, then the small baby potatoes might be a good option for you. Now, before we start cooking, let's look at the MyPlate graphic. This is a vegetable recipe. So on my plate, this covers the fruits and vegetables section. And I know you've heard me say it many times. You wanna make half your plate fruits and vegetables every time you sit down to eat. Varying your veggies is important so that you can get all of the different vitamins and minerals from as many different fruits and vegetables as possible. This recipe has several different vegetables in it, so this recipe is a great way to vary your veggies. Over time, everything you eat and drink matters. You can make every bite count by including different grains, fruits, vegetables, and protein sources when you're preparing your meals, and the MyPlate graphic can help you plan your meals for the day or for the week. So let's get into making this herb potato salad. Now I want you to remember to wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer before you start cooking. I'm gonna go over to the sink and wash my hands and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna open up the water here. We're gonna get the water going. You wanna get your hands wet and then get some soap. And then you wanna work up a good lather. Make sure that you get all the surfaces of your hands. So, just, not just the fronts of your hands, the backs of your hands as well. In between your fingers, don't forget your thumbs. And you wanna get underneath your fingernails, try to get all of the nooks and crannies there. And the soap is actually what helps to wash the germs down the drain. So you wanna get a nice lather going and then you're gonna rinse your hands off. And then we can turn the water off and you can dry your hands off with a clean towel. All right, excellent. So now we can start cooking. So let's look at the ingredients for this recipe. This recipe calls for one and a half pounds of red potatoes, which is about eight to nine medium to large potatoes cut into cubes. If you use the baby potatoes, like I said, you might not have to cut any of them up at all. Here's a half a cup of red bell pepper. We have a half a cup of green bell pepper. I have a half a cup of light Italian dressing, and you wanna look for the light version to cut down on the amount of saturated fat in the recipe. Here I have a half a tablespoon of the spicy brown mustard. We have a tablespoon of uh, dried parsley if you want, or this is fresh, you can use that as well. And then I have a teaspoon of garlic powder, you don't wanna use the garlic salt. If you wanna cut down the amount of sodium in the recipe, use the garlic powder like I have here. I have a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And then I have a half of a cup of chopped green onions, which are also known as scallions. Now I'm also gonna add some grape tomatoes to my salad just to have a little bit more color. But let me go over to the scallions here just so that you can take a look at what they look like here. If you see, there's a little white part on the end and some roots, and then there's the green part. And you can actually chop all of it up and use the whole thing in your recipe. So if you just discard the ends here, get rid of the little root parts on the bottom, and then you wanna curl your fingers and make sure that they're out of the way while you're chopping. But then you can just chop them up as small or as large as you want to. And they really add some nice flavor and some nice texture and some extra color to anything that you add them to. So that's the way the scallions look. So there, that looks pretty good. All right. 
So the potatoes are a starchy vegetable. If you need to limit your carbohydrate intake, then you can decrease the amount of potatoes in the recipe and add more of the non-starchy vegetables. So for example, you could add more of the red and green bell pepper. You could also add other things like tomatoes or carrots. And by adding more of those non-starchy vegetables and using less potatoes, you can help to limit your carbohydrate intake. So let us know in the chat box what vegetables you think you might wanna to add to this potato salad. Now, potatoes are a good source of vitamin C and potassium. The green and red bell peppers are also a good source of vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin A, folate, and potassium. Now, if you choose to add other vegetables like carrots or tomatoes, you're gonna to get even more vitamin C and potassium. Let's not forget fiber. Vegetables are an excellent source of fiber. Fiber is important in regulating our digestive system. Fiber can also help you make you feel full longer, and this can help aid in weight loss and weight maintenance. Adding different vegetables with different colors to your diet can increase the amount of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that you eat. Antioxidants in fruits and vegetables can help our bodies to fight off some chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. So adding more fruits and vegetables can to, to your diet can help make you stay healthier longer. So let's look at how this recipe goes together. So first you wanna place your potatoes in a large pot and cook them in boiling water until tender for about 10 minutes. My potatoes actually took maybe more like uh, 12 to 15 minutes. Now you wanna be able to pierce them with a fork, but not have them fall apart. So you don't wanna overcook them too much. Once the potatoes are cooked and drained, you're gonna to wanna to let them cool before mixing them with the other ingredients. Now let me show you the pan that I use to cool mine off with. So I just used a baking pan. So after my potatoes were boiled and drained, I placed them in this baking pan in a single layer. And the why you wanna do that is to make them in a shallow pan, puts them in the refrigerator, and then those potatoes are gonna have more surface area exposed to the cooler air for a longer period of time. And then they're gonna cool down quicker. Cooling down the potatoes as quickly as possible is good food safety practice as bacteria grows most quickly between the temperatures of 40 degrees and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The quicker you can cool your food to refrigerator temperature, which is about 40 degrees, the less time that the food will spend in the temperature danger zone where bacteria can multiply quickly. Slowing down bacteria growth is the goal. The more bacteria that is on a food, the more likely it is to make you sick. So remember to keep cold foods cold below 40 degrees and hot foods hot above 140 degrees. Keep foods out of the temperature danger zone for as much as possible. The potatoes that I have here have already been cooked and cooled and I'm gonna get rid of this pan here too. So next let's make the dressing to go on top of the potatoes. So I need to grab my other bowl here. So what you're gonna do in this small bowl is you're gonna combine the light Italian dressing right here. We're going to add the mustard. I'm going to use my spatula to get that in there. We're going to add the parsley. Next, we're going to add the pepper and the garlic powder. And then you can sort of mix all of those together. You can either whisk them together or use a fork. I'm going to use a whisk here. So let's mix that all together. And that looks pretty good. It smells delicious also. Okay, let's get rid of that. And now you're gonna pour that dressing over the potatoes and toss to coat the potatoes with the dressing as well as you can. And you wanna do that gently so as not to break those potatoes apart too much. So I'm gonna use my spoon here and you wanna do that sort of carefully so that you can keep your potatoes whole. Take your time when you do that. Just mix it so the potatoes are coated with the dressing evenly. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, and next we're gonna add the green and red bell peppers. So let's toss those in. I'm gonna have the red peppers and then the green peppers. You can then add the scallions. And then I am actually also going to add some red tomatoes just to give a little more color. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna mix all those together. So now what you wanna do is you want to make sure that you have dressing on all of the ingredients 
Again, do it sort of carefully so that you don't break up the potatoes too much. And you wanna stir them sort of gently. And you wanna make sure that everything is coated with that dressing evenly. All right, lost one of my tomatoes. We'll throw that back in there. Okay, great. So that looks pretty good. When, when all of that is done, you're gonna have everything combined and you're gonna cover the bowl and chill it in the refrigerator until it's ready to serve. And that is it. So let me show you some of the herb potato salad that I made earlier so that you could have an idea of what it looks like once it's put together. So let me put this behind me here and then I'm gonna grab the potato salad out of the refrigerator where I've had it cooling for a couple of hours and that's it. That's what it looks like. It's so nice and colorful. It smells great. I love adding some of that mustard in there, really to add a little bit more zest to that uh, dressing. Mmm, it's delicious. I highly recommend it. This is a great make-ahead recipe. It's a great dish to bring to a cookout or a potluck. So I hope this recipe gave you some more ideas on how to include more vegetables into your diet. Don't forget to join me in June. We'll be, I'll be making huevos rancheros, which is a delicious Southwestern style dish that is great for breakfast or brunch. I'll be back with another show on Friday, June 24th at 12.30 p.m. right here on the New York State Office for the Aging Facebook page. And don't forget to check out the New York State Office for the Aging YouTube channel and make sure that you subscribe so that you know when new content is added. This presentation was funded by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. This institution is an equal opportunity provider. Have a great day, everyone, and stay safe out there. Thank you for joining us today. We know the healthy choice isn't always the easiest choice, but small changes can make a big difference. Start today by getting involved with SNAP Ed New York. This program is free for those who qualify or receive SNAP benefits. We want to help you save time, save money, and eat healthy. Learn how SNAP Ed can make a difference in your life. For more information and to find your local program, visit snapedny.org. This material is funded by USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SNAP, this institution is an equal opportunity provider.